Wow, would you check this place out, hey? Just at the Great Australian Bight. It's um, a wonderful place here. It's, it's beautiful. It's a great time of day to come. Lovely weather. It's not too cold. It's just got a nice breeze. But yeah, wow, it's it's amazing. You should get down here. You said there was some tracks, mate, down there. Yeah, we should should be down there doing some doing some tracks. But oh well. Better get to Perth. Better get to you Perth to by get Friday. There. Wow, would you check this place out, hey? We just made a pit stop at on the Great Australian Bight. We we're looking for the Bunda Cliffs, but um, we kind of haven't been able to find exactly where to go with that, but we are making a beeline for Perth, so we'll find out where they are on the way back. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just glorious, isn't it? Great Australian Bight, off the Air, Air Highway. We just come from uh, Eucala today, or Fowler's Bay. And uh, we, we're kind of, we're getting there, we're getting there. We've got to pick up Shelley on Saturday, Easter Saturday at the airport, and I've got our accommodation behind me, so we better get there on time. <laughs> but yeah, we're making the beeline across, and then I'll be doing the, uh, checking more places out on the way back. But uh, it's been great, we've got Lockie here, and um, it's been great. And the Prado is actually running perfect. I, I love it, I'm loving it. Dan's done an awesome job with that engine, and uh, it's just, we're just cruising. So uh, anyway, we better get back on, well, no, we've got pies. We've got pies now, we're gonna go and eat them, mate. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I thought I was bringing you to a, you know, one of those tracks where you can drive out onto the onto the cliff, but we've been told that technically you're not allowed to drive out on them anymore. They've closed them up, and the rangers are gonna be out in force this weekend, making sure that people aren't camping on there, so. They just spoil stuff, don't they? Uh. You know, like, anyway, let's go and have some lunch, mate. I was talking to my wife, Shelly, you know Shelly in Toowoomba, and there's absolutely no, it's not showing any bars of signal on the, uh, on the phone. And I'm talking through the band connect, which is Wi-Fi to the caravan. How about that, eh? You can hear me all right, Shelley? I can hear the dogs anyway. Yeah, until it nearly, you nearly cut out. Did it, just then? Nearly cut out, like it went blank. But then it picked back up again. Yeah, so it's right, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, we're having a conversation here. Say hello to the folks, Shelley. Hello. See, there you go. Yeah, and you'll be uh, leaving Toowoomba tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's right. Still, there's no bars, I'm not showing any bars or signal on from the phone. We're on the air highway. Yeah, go. Yeah, you're kind of going in there, but it's not bad. That's not bad, is it, really? There you go, I might have lost it there. Still there? It cut out, it cut, it cut out, but it, picks, it seems to pick it up again. Yeah, yeah, so there you go, real life. This is, you know, not, not, no, uh, I mean, it's, it's, this is exactly how it works. Yeah, it's exactly. So um, not bad, hey, not, not a bad thing. Lucky, what's going on, mate? Just at the Nullarbor Roadhouse, eating our own sausage rolls. <laughs> Two dollars ninety-one. It is a litre for diesel here, mate. Well, like I just topped. I just, just topped her up. up. Oh, I didn't top her up. I was three quarters, so I thought I'd top her up. Yeah. Go check out this um, little place. You know the icon over here. It's going all right. The uh, cross track. So, so far so good. Can't get my UHF radio going at the moment. So I don't know. I just checked the fuses, but uh, she didn't turn back on after we left. Alice Bay, so anyway, that's the least of my worries at the moment. Oh, it's dirt, mate. Oof. 
Oh, and you wouldn't believe it. There's no dust inside here, eh? I don't have one of them air, you know, things on the top that blows the air out. Very impressed. Anyway. There. Mate, you're the man. You're the road chef, eh? What are you gonna fix up some tyres or something, are you? Well, they're all falling down. I'm a rough driver. Alright, better get stuck into that and get going again. Fires are in again. Bunny Cleese, mate. Lunch. Just under the door handle, eh? Whoop. What? Door handle sticks out slightly. Should be good. Folks, we're just about to enter the border or go through the border into WA. And Lachlan here, he's at the helm, he's going to take us through. And uh, well, we've declared to ourselves that we've got no fruit or veggies, which we don't. So um, we should be right to proceed. Just can't remember what they do, whether they come and check your car or not. So, anyway. You down if you don't stop. That's the one that brew that ran into us. Hmm? That's the brew that hit us. Yeah. So just go down the left. Next to this car. Well, lucky we, we passed the quarantine, mate. Lachlan's first quarantine and first over the border. Put the seatbelt on. How'd that feel, mate? Oh, yeah. A bit nervous. Nice. Did pretty good. Let's go. WA, hit the road. WA, mate. Woo hoo hoo. They reckon the best is in the West. Well, here we go. Woo! I'm losing my voice. You reckon lucky? Come on, mate. Give us a big, 
Woohoo, baby! WA, we passed the border. Woohoo! Come on, mate, give us a big high five. We got there, we made it. Woohoo! WA, even though we got airbags hanging from the roof, we still got here, mate. We were determined. Let's do it. 14 hours and 56 minutes to get to Perth. What do you reckon? Nah. <laughs> All right. What? You're not acting like you're escaping the border. <laughs> well, maybe I am. Well, we're just at Mill Dura. Lachlan's been driving. And uh, we just put up for a five minute break, swap back, swap over drivers. And uh, we'll keep uh, keep on heading. I think it's 13 hours it says to Perth. We're not gonna do 13 hours obviously today, but we are gonna take advantage of the time change because we put our clocks back by two hours. So um, we should get a bit in today. Uh, just makes for a, a um, a shorter day of driving tomorrow and then we're going to be in Perth so can't wait Woo. Prado is absolutely running gloriously it's not missing a beat at all just the doors are missing a bit of a what it, it's not they're not missing a beat they got a beat <laughs> so uh, yeah it's been good well folks we pulled into the uh, car and park at Baldonia. We read on Wiki Camps that their fees about 50 bucks. So we uh, found this little spot up the road on Wiki Camps. We're the only ones here. The road's kind of just over there, the highway. And uh, it's a lovely little camping place. It's all flat. Um, yeah, it's an official, unofficial camping uh, spot apparently. Look at Lockie go, we're just cooking up some sausages. Well, I don't know. We already had uh, hot chips today, didn't we, mate? So we, we're not all that hungry. And uh, just cracked open a cold one. Ah, that's better. Now, yeah, I must say that the cross track is absolutely sensational, amazing. Uh, we've done 3,800. Sorry, 3,200 k's, and this thing has not missed a beat. There's no dust inside either. Um, we've been on some pretty dusty roads, and uh, just to be able to pull up like this, make some dinner, and uh, jump into bed or jump into the caravan, and away you go. So, uh, and the Prado, well, what can I say? It's fantastic to go, mate. Doing a good job there. I think uh, Lock is a bit tired today. I'm a bit of driving. Well, I think it's time to uh, drink my beer. Lock has got his Pepsi and uh, eat some snacks. We'll be up early tomorrow for the last nine hours of driving. Oh yeah, yeah, I found a cruising spot, like I said, when I was 5Ks up the road filming. <laughs> well folks, it's a seven dinner. Fuck, he's cooking up some snacks. He's giving me a hard time about <laughs> me talking too much. Folks, so it's your last trek into Perth. So, um, on our way through, I have to pick up a seatbelt and a chair from my mate that lives in uh, Kalamunda. So, uh, I just want to say, if if he's watching, um, he doesn't like me to say too much, but you know. I didn't realise this when I sent a message to him because uh, we'd organised from the wreckers a seat and 
he was down the road from the lives down the road from those wreckers and he was actually in the Royal Perth Hospital at the time uh, with some issues and uh, anyway his wife organized to pick up this seat and the seat belt while he's while he's you know while her partner is in hospital <laughs> and I got kids and stuff so a big shout out to uh, to my mate and his missus I don't wish, wish to be named but you know there there are some awesome people in this world and I'm really grateful for that that even under their circumstances they would go and do that for me so on our way through because we won't have any room in the Prado to stick that seat at the moment we're putting it here and then we'll be down into Perth so, woohoo pick up Shelley at the airport tomorrow which is going to be Easter Saturday when this goes for you guys when this goes out tomorrow is uh, Easter Saturday anyway I'm going to have a coffee and just enjoy this lovely sun robbers lucky a I made lucky a coffee how are you mate good last day on the road on the road man on the road <laughs> you have a good sleep mate what yeah not a bad bed is it comfortable how's that coffee good it's good Where I put my coffee now, let's be in the van. Is it beginning? Yeah, mate. So, this is all done up like, like, like before. Sun's coming up. Beautiful. Well here we are, we're picking up, we're picking up, well I won't say it's a brand new seat but it, it actually looks in better condition than mine. These are our amazing friends that went down and picked it up for us. Isn't that wonderful eh? You know that seat's cleaner than mine eh? <laughs> She's carrying my seat, you want mate? <laughs> Mate, mate, we made it. <laughs> we're, in, we're in Perth, mate. We took a few wrong turns, but we made it. We ended up back on the freeway for some reason. But here we are. We're just gonna go and unload the caravan, check in, and KFC. <laughs> I'm not excited, not at all. We made it. How many Ks have we done, Lockie? Uh, 4,092. Woohoo! Alright. 